Hey team, it's Mike Thornton here and I'm bringing you some training today. Uh, I'm going to cover 10 things that a new distributor can do right off the bat because I know if you're anything like any other distributor that comes into this thing, the first thing you go is, okay, well, where do I get started? You know, a lot of times we want to run over to the website and start learning about all the products. We want to learn every ingredient so we can be, you know, very well informed and tell people all about it. Don't start there. Uh, you could be one of those people that says, okay, I'm going to get into the website and I'm going to learn where everything is on the website, where every single link is. Don't start there either. <laughs> you could uh, be the person that says, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start taking some product and 30 to 60 to 90 days from now, I'm going to be looking good. And so then I'm going to then I'm gonna have something to, to, to show to people. Don't start there either. What you do is you start today and I'm going to give you 10 simple steps that you can take and you can do these today and get rolling. Okay, the very first thing is, you have to define your purpose. You have to know exactly what it is that you're working towards. And you can also define this as a vision. You have to know where it is, a mental picture. Where is it that you want to go? And the reason why it's so important, in fact, you if you if you can't take this first step and do it today and get it down on paper and get clear about it, then nothing else is going to matter. Because it has to be something that is so strong that your conviction is so strong for it that it gets you up every single day and it gets you excited and you're passionate about sharing your story with people. Because you can't fake that. And if you do try to fake it, people will see it. For me, my purpose came to me one day when my two and a half year old daughter was having trouble breathing. And we found out that she needed a breathing treatment that was gonna cost, or a surgery that was gonna cost $7,000. And we didn't have it. I just, with my other business, I just finished doing this huge project and, and we didn't have the funds for it. And I remember the helpless feeling that I had thinking to myself, that I'm in this situation where I can't provide medical care for my daughter. And so my purpose is to be never be in that spot again. Uh, and, and I'm proud to tell you that after a year with AdvoCare, we paid for that surgery. Uh, and now I have a new purpose. My new purpose is to get home to my kids every single night. My job requires me to be out in the evenings. I want to have dinner at the table every single night. And it's so important. And I hope you can hear how important it is to me because it's got to be that important to you. So figure out what your purpose is. What are you trying to do? What are you trying to accomplish? Is it for tuition for your kid's school? Is it so that you can get home and be a stay-at-home mom? Is it so that you can have more vacation time with your family? Because these things are all possible. People are doing this with care. You have to know what your purpose is. All right, so number one, write these down. Purpose. Number two, you have to know what your goals are. You know, you can have all the purpose in the world and be totally excited and be, you know, I, I've heard it said that you can, you can be as excited as you want looking for a sunset and running towards the east, you're never going to find it. So you have to be very clear cut on what your goals are. So I want you to write out your 30 day goals. Where do you see yourself with AdvoCare, okay, in 30 days? Can you hit that first leadership level? Have you won a rookie bonus? Uh, do you have three new distributors underneath you? Where do you see yourself in 30 days? 60 days, 90 days, and a year, and you write those goals down, you get very clear so that you have a roadmap that, that your passion, you know, you take that passion and you put it into that roadmap and you start to try to attain those goals. Number three, you've already heard me say, hey, do you see that these are things you can do right now? These are things that you can do right now. Number three, you have to get excited and passionate about this whole thing. Okay, you have to be. You have to look at AdvoCare as the vehicle for you to reach that purpose. And if that doesn't get you excited, if you don't go, man, you know, and look around and see other people doing this and say to yourself, I can do this too. I can have that financial freedom. I can I can get home to my children. If you can't get excited about it, then it's probably you probably didn't define your purpose correctly. So you have to flip the switch and get excited about it. And that's gonna come in really, it's gonna be really important when you're talking to people because if you come across as somebody that's disinterested in this opportunity, you're not gonna go very far with this business or in any business. So you have to get excited about it. Um, I say it's, you know, drinking the Kool-Aid, but it's not Kool-Aid, it's Spark, okay? So you gotta drink the Spark and get excited about this stuff. Number four, you have to buy product for yourself. Okay, and this is, you know, a lot of times when people come in and, and I, I think they start hearing about, well, hey, uh, one of the principles is you got to buy the products. I'm going to tell you why it's important. Okay, Number one, this whole business is centered around you sharing a story with people. And if you don't have product in your life, and I'm not talking about doing product one time and then not taking product. you got to remain a product of the product. You take what you can afford. Okay, I know that a lot of times people come into this opportunity strapped for cash. So let me change your mindset a little bit. Don't think about it as an added expense. Look at something in your life where you can redirect your funds to make sure that you can get that product in your body. 
Let me repeat that. Redirect funds that you're already spending. Are you already buying your lunch out and you could afford a meal replacement? Are you already picking up a rock star or a Starbucks or something like that in the morning? Redirect those funds to Spark. When I actually, because I've always taken supplementation. When I actually switched over to AdvoCare, I started to save money because I was I was spending a lot more out at you know the the local vitamin shops that are here. So for me, it actually helped me save money, and I bet it can help you save money too. So don't look at it as an added expense. It's not. Redirect your funds, and you purchase what you can. So again, the the first reason is that you have to you have the products to share your story with people. All right. The second reason is this. A company does not come across as very legit if you have all these people trying to recruit people to take products and the people they're trying to recruit are not taking product. I actually just had a conversation with somebody that was uh, approached by another supplement company. You know who you are. And um, no, nobody was taking the products. Nobody was on the products, but they were talking about how great it was. <laughs> and nobody was taking the products. Well, that's not believable. That's not believable. I'm not going to have you sit here and try to sell me a Ford car and go, how you know Ford is the best car in the world. You got to get a Ford, and then I see you get it in your Toyota and drive off. Okay, so you have to be a product of the product. So do that today. Get on your microsite and go. What can I afford? Where can I redirect my funds and get your purchase? Don't do it tomorrow. Don't procrastinate. Do it today. Okay. Again, these are all steps that you can do right now. Number five, you got to create your story. You have to create your story. Now, this is where I think a lot of distributors get into a jam, okay? Because we're talking about all the success you've experienced with AdvoCare, right? The physical and the financial, and you're going, I'm brand new. I don't have those stories yet. Well, here's what I want you to remember. Don't wait to create your story. Your story will evolve with you, okay? Don't wait to create your story. Your story could, listen, I don't know if you've taken the MNS before, but when I put that stuff in my body, Man, it gives me energy. I just had some, by the way. Can you tell? I got lots of energy right now. But it gives me so much energy. It could be day one. That somebody gives you a spark or you, you, you purchase some M&S and you share with somebody, man, I put that stuff in my body and, and I felt incredible. And it, you know, I know that it's going to help me get to my goals because I've seen other people that have done this 24-day challenge or have been on these products and they've lost 50, 20, 25, 50, you know, even 100 pounds. And so I know that this is going to help me with my weight loss journey. And check this out. The person that got me involved with AdvoCare, they, they, they lost 20 pounds. And just by sharing it with me and sharing it with other people, that person started to make an extra $500 a month sharing AdvoCare. And more than that, the person that got them involved, that person is making $2,000 a month with AdvoCare. And may, wait, wait till I tell you about this other guy. He, he's making $35,000. So I'm excited about this opportunity. Now, do you see what I did there? I... First of all, I didn't lose my passion Kept and, and, and I, I'm sharing other people's stories. So yes, you can have a short little story when you come in, which is just, man, I put the products in my body and man, they made me feel good. And, and then you can simply move to somebody else's story and share it. So I'm going to encourage you to learn everybody's story. You know, call your upline on the line, whoever got you into AdvoCare, and it could be me. And just say, tell me your story. And then take some notes so that you can share it with people. It's incredible because, man, it's exciting. If you can share a few different stories just like that in a row, it didn't take long. It's like, wow. And you know what? The person that got me involved did this, and they're earning that. And that person that got them involved is doing this, and they're earning that. So know those stories, but don't wait. Do not wait to create your own. You have one right now. If you're, if you're watching this video, you have a story. Well, that is if you started on the product, okay, so that you have to get that product into your body. So you take the product, you, you develop that story. And right now, all I'm talking about, listen, we can, we, we're going to cover more about telling your story. Okay, Right now, you just ha need, as a new distributor, something quick that you can, uh, that you can you know, start with. Okay, And that is, man, the product, here's what it did, how, here's how it made me feel. Maybe you get two weeks into it and your, pro and your story already starts to evolve. You go, man, I've only been taking these products for two weeks. My energy's through the roof. I've lost five pounds. And you've got to try this stuff. It's amazing. All right? So your story is going to evolve. Especially on the financial side of it as well. Okay, you know, when we got into this, we, we made $50 here and $50 there. And then we, we really decided to get intentional. And then once we did that, we, we got focused on our purpose. Man, we started, we hit silver leadership and we started making $1,000 a month. And so your story will evolve. But you have to start today. Write it down. What's your 30-second story about the product and how it made you feel and what you accomplished with it? 
and where you're going. This is an important part. And again, I'm skimming over it now because I want you to get started. I don't want to overwhelm you. But you have to talk about where you're going as well. You have to talk about where you're going as well. Cast a vision for the people that you're talking to. You know, if I'm brand new and I come in, I'm like, man, I got this product, I put it in my body, and, you know, I've already lost a few pounds and I feel great, my energy levels up, I have energy to play with my kids, and I tell you what, in a year from now, you know, I, it, maybe I talk about the financial part of it as well, and I started making 50 bucks here and $100 there, and I got a paycheck the other day for $200, and right now, if I continue on the road that I'm on, man, I'm going to be earning an extra $42,000 next year, just with AdvoCare, doing this part-time. Now, I didn't say I have a... I've accomplished that already, but I'm casting vision. And then you, and you say, man, I don't know if this, for me, this is how I approach people. I, I said, I don't even know if this is an opportunity that you're interested in. Could you, or could you use an extra $1,100 a month? Or, or, you know, could you use a product that's going to help give you more energy and, and make you feel better and uh, help you lose weight? And, and I'm authentic when I ask that question because I don't know. I don't know where that person's at in life. They, they could be looking for a sign, they could be looking for something, and you just happen to reach out to them. So we're going to get to that, um, but you've got to create your story. Don't wait to create your story. Don't wait to create your story. Start it now, okay? You should have, by the time you finish this video and you spend 10 minutes on this, you should have your purpose and your vision and your goals written out, and it doesn't take that long, guys, and then write your story out. Figure out what that story is. All right, here it is, number six. You ready? Make your list. You have to make your list and, and don't buy into the thinking that I don't know that many people because you can't buy into that. You know a lot of people. You know a lot of people. They don't have to be in your neighborhood. They could be people that you know in different states. Okay? But you know what you do? You go through your phone. There's a contact list. You go through your emails. There's a contact list. Go to your Facebook page. There's a contact list. You've got people. If you're on Facebook, and you're watching this video right now, you have a list, okay? And you go, well, I don't know how comfortable I feel approaching those people. We're gonna talk about how you do that in just a second, okay? Because what we're not gonna do is what's called fire hose. I've done this, okay? <laughs> we're not gonna fire hose people, I did this in the beginning, with AdvoCare. And how AdvoCare is so great, and we're spraying them, spraying them with AdvoCare. Right? You gotta do AdvoCare, you gotta sign up, you gotta take these products, and it's AdvoCare, 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 because that's gonna drive people away, okay? So, um, we're going to talk a little bit more about how you approach people, but you have to make a list, and you got to divide that list into people that you th that you think are going to be interested in the product, and those people that you think are going to be interested in the opportunity. And and a lot of I've seen this a lot lately. A lot of times, distributors come in and, and they only gravitate towards that product list. Well, who do I know that really needs this product? Who do I know that could use some more energy? Who do I know? And that's great. I want you thinking that way. But I want you to think about the opportunity side of it as well. Because I've picked up that phone many times and called somebody and said, look, I don't know where you're at in life. I thought about you for a specific reason. There's this opportunity. You know, I don't know if it's something that you're even interested in, but would you like to discuss it further? And it's led to people getting involved with this and it's changing their lives. So don't rule anybody out. That's, that's the number one rule. Don't rule anybody out. There's nobody that's too important. There's doctors that do AdvoCare. There's lawyers that do AdvoCare. There are people that were, you know, chief executive officers that do AdvoCare, okay? Don't rule anybody out. Nobody's too important. People are looking for opportunities. There's a great video or uh, audio training that I heard from Danny McDaniel talking about how he's been in every household and he's seen people that are just trying to keep up with, you know, the Joneses that are stretched to the limits. They have debt that you wouldn't believe and they're looking for, they're looking for a way out. They might drive the fanciest car you've ever seen but they're looking for a way out and this could be their vehicle, all right? So don't rule anybody out. So you've got your list. What are you supposed to do with it? By the way, do that step today, guys. These are all steps you should do today. If you keep putting these things off, you won't get any momentum. In this business, it takes momentum for you to get going. So the next step is you pick up the phone. You pick up the phone because here's one of the things I hear a lot of people talk about um, is that they're so busy and they don't have time to do AdvoCare. They got involved and they heard the stories and they wanted to do this and then they're just like, I just don't have time to work this business right now and that's nonsense. I'm gonna tell you right now, you, you gotta change that thinking. You have time to do this. I don't care if you're driving to work or driving home or taking the kids to school or whatever it might be. You've got time in that car where you could be using that phone. Using it safely, of course, but not texting and things like that, but just using your voice. And that's what I wanna talk about right here. 
you see a lot of the stuff, you see a lot of people talking about Abacure on Facebook, and there's nothing wrong with that. There really isn't. Uh, it's, it's keeping it out in front of people, and there's nothing wrong with that. And text messaging is great. I know we all love it, and I know hitting people up on Facebook with Facebook messages is great, but there's nothing that's going to convey your passion and your purpose and your excitement about this. I don't care how many smiley faces or exclamation points you put into a text. Your voice is your greatest tool when you're talking with people because you can come across as authentic um, and you can, uh, you know, look, I'll be honest with you, I, I was approached by people with Advocare on Facebook and text before I ever joined, long time ago, in fact, and I was turned off by it because I thought, man, here's this something that they're saying is really important and I can't hear their voice. It feels like a sales pitch. And so where I, I've had the most success is just by you know, using my voice and being authentic with people. And yeah, I know that might get you a little out of your comfort zone, but that's the point. In your comfort zone, we don't grow. In your comfort zone, we don't change. Nothing changes in your comfort zone. You have to get outside your comfort zone. You know, if you want, you know, I, don't, I can't remember who said this right off the top of my head, but it's if you want something that you've never had, you've got to be somebody that you've never be, been. And I, I think it's probably my mentor, Les Brown. Um, if I'm wrong, then whoever deserves the credit should get the credit. But you gotta stretch yourself. You gotta do. Th you gotta jump, man. You gotta get in there and take steps that you've never taken before, because that's where the magic happens. Okay. And if you sit there scared, not ever making contact with people, this business will not happen. And I want you to think about this. You may be scared to reach out, but when you start reaching out and people start responding and saying, "Man, I need this. I need this in my life." Yes. Tell me more. Think about all the people you will have robbed that opportunity if you didn't reach out to them just because they had a nice car, or just because they had an important job, or just because, just because. So don't rob those people of those opportunities. There are so many people in Advocare that their lives have changed. Just think if that person that told them about Advocare didn't do it, okay? So pick up the phone, use your voice, and here's what I tell people. Here's my little formula, and, I, and, I, and I'm authentic with this, guys. You have to be authentic. But I simply give them a call and I say, how are you doing? I know it's been a while, if it's been a while. Everything going okay? How are the kids? You know, a little bit of small talk is fine. But then don't overdo the small talk. Get to your point. And you simply say, look, I, I'm calling you for a reason. I thought about you for a reason. And you have my full permission to tell me no if this is not an opportunity for you that you're interested in. Okay, so you're not going to hurt my feelings. You have my permission to say no. But the reason why I thought about you for this is this. And then I'll, and I'll have a real reason when I talk to them. And then I'll share my little 30 second story. And then I'll just ask them straight out, is this something that you're even interested in? And then if they're interested, they'll let me know. And we, when we take it to the next step, which we're gonna talk about in a second. So it might sound like something like this. You know, I'll just use uh, John Doe, okay? And John Doe might be a friend of mine that I know has started small businesses before. And so he's very entrepreneurial. Well, um, <clears throat> I might give John a call and just say, hey, John, I know it's been years, man. We went to college together. I just always remembered you as this entrepreneurial guy. I remember you started some businesses. I hope you're doing well. Um, but listen, I have a point for giving you a, a reason for giving you a call today. And I'm not going to take much of your time and I'm not going to try to sell you anything. I thought about you for this opportunity because of your entrepreneurial spirit. It may be something that you're not even interested in. You can tell me no. But check this out. Ever since my wife and I got involved with Advocare, here's how it's changed us physically and here's how it's changed us financially and here's where we're going. You know, I don't know, John, is that something that you're even interested in hearing more about? And John's going to let me know. It's that simple. It's that simple. And if we end up going for a cup of coffee or doing a two-on-one with another person, we're going to talk about this in just a second, or doing a three-way call with somebody else, you know, we're going to we're going to explain things further. You don't need to go in there and talk a bunch of stuff with people Hey, I'm calling you about Advocare, and I don't know if you know about Advocare, but they got Drew Brees, and they also got Jason Witten. And let me tell you about all these other endorsers and, and all the science behind it. Have you ever tried Spark? Let me tell you about Spark. You know, if you do that, there's there's no way people are going to see the opportunity here. So it's a simple formula for me. This is the formula that I use, and it's probably used by a lot of people. Okay, you have to be authentic. You have to have a reason for calling somebody. And you know what? Your reason could simply be that I thought about you for this opportunity, and that's it. That could be the reason. 
You don't have to have, you know, a lot of times I'll tell people, hey, I thought about you because I know your personality and I think this would be a really good fit for you. Or I know that you just had a baby girl and you're trying to get home to that baby girl and this could be a really good fit for you. Or I know you guys have some a, a baby on the way. Or I know that you're moving to a new city and you don't have a job yet. Or whatever it might be, but there, there's there's going to be a reason for you to pick up the phone and call that person. And you have it has to come across as real. Okay? If you come across as a sales pitch... Of course, they're not, it's going to be uncomfortable for everybody. And that's the thing. When you start to make those calls that way and you start to reach out to people that way, you're going to find out it's not scary. And you're going to find out there's a lot of people that have that need that opportunity. What's scary in looking at that list is thinking that you're going to call those people and try to sell them something. You're not. Get that out of your head. I'm going to repeat that. The scary part is to look at your list and sit there saying, I, I'm going to go sell these people something. Because that's not what you're doing. What you're going to do is you're going to go share an opportunity with them that they might be interested in and they might not be. But all you're going to do is share that opportunity. You're not selling them anything. okay? And if they are interested, they'll let you know. And if they're not, they'll let you know too. And it's not going to hurt you. I promise. So you pick up the phone. Now, number nine, you take yourself out of the equation. Take yourself out. You use your success system. okay? That I, I was so confused. Success system. Success system. What is that? Until, you know, my sponsor explained it to me and so forth. So I'm explaining it to you. Success system is simply this. It's the system. Well, let me boil it down to this. Success system, the reason why I call it that is because you're a new person, right? We don't expect you as a new person to go out there and do coffee appointments with people or lead three-on-one or three-way calls or tell people all about AvoCare. You're brand new. That's too much pressure to put on yourself. So here's how you're successful. You use this very easy system. You use somebody that has more experience in your upline, somebody that got you involved, or maybe it's me. You, you use somebody else to do the work for you. You see, in the beginning, you're a connector. You're a connector. You connect your upline with people, and then you let them do the work. You take yourself out of the equation. You take the pressure off of yourself. So if the pressure and you're not calling out to your list is because you don't know what to say, it's okay. All you have to do is that one little conversation that I mentioned, and are you? I don't know if you're interested. If, if you are, let me know, and if they are, this is what you follow up with. I mean, that's fantastic. I want to share this with you. I'm brand spanking new, or I've only been doing this for a couple weeks, and I could tell you a little bit about it, but the person that got me involved, he and his wife, they're doing this, or this person's doing that, and man, they, they've been doing it, and they can, t they can explain it so much longer. I promise you, they're not going to try to sell you anything. They just know how to tell this business. Would it be okay with you if we set up a three-way call and, and dial that person in? Would it be okay with you if we went and got coffee and, uh, and with that person and let them share their story and, and set the appointment, ask for the appointment. That's okay to do that. Ask for the appointment. If they're interested in the opportunity, why wouldn't you? Now, if they say, no, I really don't see that opportunity for me and you go, no, come on, let's go get some coffee and let me bring this other person in and they'll try to tell you, then of course they're going to keep backing up. So you, if you get it, yeah, I'm interested in that. Then you, you have the opportunity to um, set the appointment. So do it. And then set the appointment with your upline. Set it with the person that got you involved, the person that's got experience, that can tell their stories, that can tell people about AdvoCare, and take the pressure off of yourself. Are you starting to see how this works? There's other parts to the success system. There's mixers and there's uh, business opportunity meetings and all sorts of stuff like that. We're going to cover that in a different video. Right now, it's as simple as setting up a three-way call or a coffee appointment. Okay? And do that. Take yourself out of the equation. And we'll talk about how to conduct those and so forth. Last one, and then we're going to close out this video. Last one. Be intentional. Be intentional every single day. That means when you wake up, you think to yourself, what, am I, what do I need to do to get myself closer to my purpose today? And you do it early. That's called being intentional. Because otherwise, if you just get busy and things start happening around you, you become a victim of the circumstances of the day. Be intentional. Have the day that you want. Design the day that you want. Design the life that you want. And it starts with being intentional. So I want you to be intentional. Let me give these 10 points. I know you wrote them down, right? You had to have written them down. Number one, purpose in your vision. Number two, get your goals out. 30, 60, 90 days and one year. Number three, get excited and be passionate because you're going to get to your purpose. That should get you excited. Number four, buy your products. Buy what you can afford, but get the stuff in your body right now. Number five. Create your story. Do it today. Your little 30-second story. Number six, make your list. Number seven, 
I think I skipped number seven. I did. I'm going to cover it really fast. I skipped it. I'm sorry. I got too excited. Number seven was this. Wear your colors. If you got an extra 15 to 20 bucks that you can afford a shirt, do it. It's free advertising. I wear this everywhere I go. Starbucks, into the grocery store. And every time I go to a Starbucks and sit there for one hour, you know, working on my laptop or whatever it might be, somebody approaches me and they say, hey, that's AdvoCare. Can I ask you a couple questions? And I've gotten business out of that. I've gotten distributors. I've gotten people involved that are changing their lives. All right? So wear your colors. Wear your colors. That was number seven. Number eight was pick up the phone. Use your voice. Be authentic with people. Number nine, use the success system. Take yourself out of the equation and bring, connect that person with somebody that can explain AdvoCare to them. And number 10, be intentional every single day. Every single day. You know, this will be the last thing I leave you with. When I got intentional, when my daughter asked me if she could bring her breathing treatment to school that day because she couldn't breathe, I said, no way. This is not, this is not going to be the life I live. No more. I'm not going to be that person that says, well, I guess, you know, this is how my company's going to perform and this is the amount of time I'm going to have with my family and there's going to be things I can't afford and one of those things I can't afford is medical care for my daughter. No. I decided that wasn't going to be it anymore. I, I got intentional. I mean, I got laser focused. And I started doing these things on this list that I'm sharing with you right now. And I called up my mentor. I called up Rob Simmons. So a little shout out to you, Rob. And I said, Rob, give me the one thing you, you can attribute your success to. What did you do on a daily basis? What was the one thing that, helped, that you believe has helped you get to the level that you're at? And he said, I made it a point to reach out to at least three to five new people every day. He said, if I got to the end of the day, I don't care how tired I was, if I had to, I would give them a call, I would call them up, and I would, I would force myself to do it. But every single day, three to five people. That was the secret formula. I, and you know what you do, guys? You know what you do when you want something that somebody else has, when somebody else has a level of success? You use the same formula. So I'm giving you some steps to take. If you want the same type of success that the people in this organization are experiencing, and we're not talking about people that have been involved for 20 years, there are people that are going straight to diamond in their first year, then you have to take these steps, okay? These are all things that you can do today. Will you? We'll find out. Contact me if you need me. You know I'm here to help. And you know I'm champion of your goals and your dreams. You know, that's something great I heard at leadership school is that, sure, be a champion means, you know, be a winner and, and be victorious. And, but to be a champion, the, the new definition that, that I have is to champion somebody else's life. Everybody in my organization, I hope you know I'm a champion for you. I want you to reach your purpose. I want you to get home to your children. I want you to get out of financial debt. I am a champion and I am here to champion your lives and your goals. So let's do it together. Take care.